Hey everyone, Mark Roth, Accidental Geek, coming to you from my man cave in Liberal. And today I thought I would uh, try my hand at something new here, and it's photography related. I uh, was having a conversation with a friend and fellow photographer of mine, and uh, he and I are, you know, old Navy photography buddies. And we were photographers before digital was around. And so <laughs> embracing the digital age has been tough, tougher for some than others. But anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, just kind of do a short thing on working with camera raw images instead of, you know, shooting JPEG or TIFF straight in the camera. Um, so, you, you know, you, and the reason is you get a lot of you get a lot of uh, benefits from using the camera raw utility. Um, but anyway, uh, step one, here I'll show you my camera. Step one is to, and, th and this is the conversation that I had with my friend, step one is to set your camera for camera raw. And so I'll show you with mine. Camera raw. <laughs> okay, so that's step one. So you're shooting in camera raw, and uh, now you've got your pictures, and uh, you're ready to uh, edit them in Photoshop. I've got uh, I'll I'll use uh, Photoshop CS5 for this example, and I'll try to keep this short. So here we go. Okay. Let's see if this thing is working. All right, we've been having lots of troubles, so we're going to start over. Here we go. Anyway, <laughs> I've been trying I've been having a hard time finding a screen capture software application. So let's see if this one'll work. Okay, so um Okay. So anyway, uh, you open Adobe Bridge, and then uh, you go to your, browse to your folder that you want to uh, find an image to edit, and and then uh, well, let's just let's just take one of these that I haven't uh, edited yet, and uh, I'll just this one right here, I guess, and we'll just right click and open camera raw and uh, we'll just uh, go through again these are some of the preset white balance settings and you notice when I change some of these presets it adjusts the temperature and tint um, auto uh, this particular shot is a daylight shot so daylight would be a good setting for white balance and then you can adjust the exposure, the recovery, and the recovery allows you to uh, minimize the uh, washout of the highlights. Uh, you can bring in your fill light, see how that, and then maybe darken your blacks a little bit. And uh, you want to kind of be careful not to get too crazy with some of these uh, dials because you don't want to um, you don't want to get too much noise going on anyway saturation and you can mess with the uh, curve the highlights the lights and uh, darks, shadows, see how that brings the shadow in. And uh, the big thing here for me is that, especially when you're shooting architecture, you can adjust the lens distortion, which is a good thing. 
you know, back in the film days, he had to use a large format camera with bellows in order to correct the lens distortion for uh, photography that was, you know, where you're pointing the camera at the tall building and you didn't want the lens distortion to alter the, <laughs> the lines of the building. I mean, that's why they used those large format cameras back in the film days. But anyway, you can make adjustments to horizontal and vertical. You can scale it in a little bit if you want to crop that some of that stuff out. But the big thing is, if you have a camera that's uh, look at, look at the difference between the line on the on this here, and that shows you the the difference when you adjust the uh, lens distortion. But if you have a camera and a lens that's recognized by the software, you can just hit this automatic setting. But then you also go into these manual settings as well. Open the image opens it up in Photoshop and then you're off and running uh, making your edits in Photoshop. So there's a quick down and dirty um, editing in uh, Camera Raw Utility. Uh, let me uh, stop this and I'll go back to the camera. Okay, so anyway, there that is. This has been a great learning experience for me um, having to search for a, <laughs> a screen capture application that actually works has been a <laughs> but I think I found one with this uh, what do you call it active presenter seems to have done a pretty good job so anyway this is just kind of a a quick thing and uh, Hopefully that helped, and uh, I'll be making more videos as we go along. I'm going to be uh, teaching a photography class starting in the fall, so I'm, this is a good exercise for me to kind of freshen my skills as well. So it helps me get my skills up a little bit and helps me learn how to create videos, and if it's also helped you learn how to uh, Im improve your photography skills, then isn't it just a happy world? <laughs> All right. Talk to you all later.